welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a collab with the very gorgeous dimple de souza and she is just an amazing girl today we're going to be answering um eight questions each so dimple is a very talented woman she does a lot of diys on her channel especially like hair spas hair oil and treatments she does lip scrubs and lip balms she just totally branches out into all the um, aspects of beauty so um she does a lot of things on her channel and she is a makeup artist she is a fashion designer and she owns her own business and that's where she does all her fashion designing and everything just she's just an amazing soul she's a beautiful person i always go to her for advice so make sure you guys check out her channel and please subscribe to her and send her some love and tell her that i sent you so that she feels the love i mean this is what youtube is all about it's dimple and i have a sisterly bond so whenever something is going on and i have some sort of pressure in my life if i have something going on in my life she's always there for me she always shows me the right way she's like an elder sister to me i really look up to her whenever i have something going on in my life and she's like really easy going and she's just an amazing person i tell you everything about her in this video and this is when you guys step in and go and check out her channel <music> Q&A. So what I have done is that I have prepared four questions for her and she has prepared four questions for me. After watching my video, make sure you guys jump over to her channel to see what she has to say about these questions. And uh, let's get started, guys. Now, I feel like a lot of times gay people, lesbians and gays are taken wrongly most of the times. I feel like they're humans like us as well. Well, they sometimes clash with other religions and beliefs and stuff from other people. Most of the people would agree with the way that they live their life. Most people won't agree. Uh, at the end of the day, whatever makes you happy, if you want to be uh, a lesbian or a gay, if it makes you happy, if it brings you happiness, I think you should go out and definitely sway it. And and uh, don't worry about what people have to say about it because, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't really please everyone. think about guys who gossip i feel like it's a feminine thing uh, it's a bit funny it's it's hilarious to me and i actually had a uh guy friend who was actually um he was into uh, gossiping and everything it was, it was just fucking hilarious like he was just so funny and um we used to gossip like all the time uh, it's funny and you know it's it's similar to how women gossip as well like it's very similar because i mean just because they're men like you know it makes it more hilarious like you would expect expect a man to be like more manly and like you know not talk a lot about people because my partner is very different he doesn't talk about anyone to me unless i ask him like if i ask him oh you know what did that person say he would tell me like only like the um like the main points of the conversation he wouldn't go into details so um that's something that i really like about him I've had really bad experiences with um, best friends. So I think that is why exactly I do not have any at the moment. I only have a couple of girls that I talk to every day. And they are like really helpful. They're really nice to me and everything. Like I really like them. And I hope they think the same about me. Um, I found a lot of times where my friends were bitching about me. Well, what I do normally is that I confront them. And then I just ask them straight on the face that, you know, like what the fuck? Like what is going on? What is all this fuckery and all that stuff? I'm a bit hard 
on people who do this kind of shit. I definitely confront her and ask her why she's doing this, what have I done wrong to her as to why she's doing this. Because I've noticed a lot of uh, friends that I have made, except these two girls that I'm talking to at the moment, they are really different from the other girls that I've spoken to. Because I feel like all the other girls that I've spoken to have grown sort of jealous of me. Since this is a very important topic, I would like to tell everyone who is watching this video that please respect all women and um, because, you know, you would, you definitely would not do that to your mum or sister. So, especially married women, um, they deserve more respect than um, any other woman in the community because they're married, they're committed, they're loyal, they're honest to their husband and then you come in and you start flirting with her, it's not a good thing and um, single girls are more open, they're more vulnerable and you know they would uh, they wouldn't mind being flirted, uh, being like um, teased because uh, some girls like being in the spotlight I think married women should be respected Fake friends. Now this is a massive topic that I would like to talk about. Fake friends are people who uh, just say that they wish the best for you but in their heart they do not mean that at all. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to be the best in what you do. They don't want you to succeed in anything at all. These people are like leeches. They just stick themselves on you and just suck your blood and they just you know they just want to use you and they don't care about what you do in life. They do not, they're not worried about what you have to talk about. They do not give a shit about what you think in life. They're just there probably for a reason. So if you find that one of your friends is doing this, your so-called friends, so make sure you get rid of them straight away because you do not want extra baggage with you while you are going on the steps of life. You're going to do something better. You definitely want people who bring you up, who motivate you who try to uh, do good to you, try to uh, say inspirational things to you and uh, you know you need those kind of people, you don't need this kind of fake friends like you know seriously you don't. If you guys did not know I'm getting married um, on this Saturday. We've known each other for two years now so um, I definitely believe in love marriage because I feel like arranged marriages are um, they're a bit like more formal and you really have to get to know the person after the marriage and if it does not work out it's even worse so I think it's more better if you get to know the person you need to talk to that person meet that person a couple of times and see how it goes you know aapko agar wo person pasand aaya hai aur aapko lagta hai ki wo person bahut hi acha hai tab aap aage badhiye warna arranged marriages to main sochti hu ki ek bahut hi sensitive topic hai kyunki india mein aur kai jagah is duniya mein ye rivaz jo hai wo abhi tak manaya jata hai to agar aapki arranged marriage ho to successful तो 50% परसेंट होती है और अनसक्सेसफुल होती है वैसे ही लव मैरिज में भी सक्सेसफुल चांसेस सक्सेस का चांसेस कम या ज्यादा होता है आप किसी भी चीज की गारंटी नहीं ले सकते क्योंकि अरेंज मैरिज में आपके पेरेंट्स के हाथ होते हैं और लव मैरिज में आपका हाथ होता है तो आप जो भी डिसीजन बनाएंगे आप सोचते कि आपके लिए अच्छा है तो आप वो ही करेंगे और अरेंज मैरिज में जो पेरेंट्स सोचते कि आपके लिए अच्छा है और शायद आगे जाके वो नहीं आ, काम नहीं हुआ वो तुम्हारी जो शादी थी तो मुझे लगता है कि सब चीजों के लिए फिफ्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट यू नो होता है मैं जरूर लव मैरिज प्रेफर करूंगी क्योंकि मेरी सिचुएशन में आ, मुझे ज्यादा पसंद है कि मैं उस पर्सन से मिलूं जिससे मैं शादी करना आ, करने जा रही हूं और मैं उससे मिलूं मैं उससे बातें करूं क्योंकि बिना बात का तो तुम किसी की पर्सनालिटी जान नहीं पाते हो तो इट्स मच बेटर इफ यू टॉक टू दैट पर्सन एंड गेट टू नो दैट पर्सन सो दैट यू नो दैट ओके दिस पर्सन इज गुड मे बी आई शुड मेरी दैट पर्सन और तुम्हें लगता है कि वो पर्सन चेंज हो रहा है तो तुम्हारी पास तुम्हारे पास वो चांस है कि अच्छा दिस इज नॉट गोना वर्क आउट आई एम जस्ट गोना गेट आउट ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप कुछ बिगड़ा नहीं है अभी तक मैं किसी और से भी शादी कर सकती हूँ तो बट वंस तुम्हारी शादी अगर हो गई विट डजन वर्क आउट द न्यू तो तुम फिर डिवोर्स लेके डिवोर्स ही बन जाती हो 
favorite uh, Mac Smashbox Maybelline. Um, I love as well as I love Zoeva brushes, and um, I also love Nars. Nars is a very luxurious brand. Struggles as a beauty guru, I would say that I'm definitely not a, uh, I'm not a qualified makeup artist or anything like that. I'm just a makeup enthusiast and um, I love playing with makeup. So that is exactly why I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to showcase my talent to you guys and uh, I definitely got a lot of response and support from you guys and as well as singing as well. So um, I also sing as well. So I have those two things that I upload videos about on my channel and the struggles that normally come as a beauty girl I feel like some people are just sitting in their houses and they're just waiting for me to upload videos so that they can jump on my channel and click the dislike button and I feel like uh, we don't need those kind of haters in our life who are just waiting and um, also talking to a couple of girls I've heard that they um, they have two different accounts and when they don't like someone, they jump on their YouTube channel and they use both of their accounts to dislike that person's video. Like, are you fucking serious? Is this what your life is about? Like, are you serious? Like, you need to get out of this thing, you know? You need to start loving people around you. You need to start supporting people around you. You're not supposed to be jumping on people's videos and disliking it and, you know, like just stalking them and... So the struggles of being a beauty guru is that some people will accept you, some people won't accept you, some people watch your videos but they're not willing to comment or even like on your videos because they think that oh if I comment and like then this person will grow and that is exactly what they don't want you to do. They don't want you to grow. succeed eagles ki apne channel wait ये कब वीडियोस अपनी अपलोड करें साली तो मैं इसके वीडियोस पे जाके इसको डिसलाइक करूं तो इस तरह के लोग होते हैं दुनिया में वन ऑफ द अदर स्ट्रगल्स इज दैट um we are real people we are normal people um we take out time from our real and normal life to make videos so uh there's a bit difficulty taking out time and then you have to edit it you have to um upload it on youtube so there's a lot of effort going on cuz i don't think that a lot of people realize what goes in um into making youtube videos so those are one of the struggles as well uh sometimes you make friends on YouTube sometimes you don't you come across people and you learn from them and that is one of the biggest things that you need uh, it's always important to stay positive in your life it's always important to uh, listen to your instincts if you think this person is not right for you stop talking to them and move on in your life because there are a lot of good people out there in the world that are waiting for you to become friends with them uh, there's similar people uh, that share the similarities that you have in your personality and in your channel so it's very important to do that last but not the least achhi tarah se rahe aur positive rahe apni life mein kisi ki baat na suniye aur jo maine bhi abhi questions answer kiya hai maine aap kisi ka bhi bura mat maniye kyunki ye sab views mere hai aur main ye sochti hu lekin aapka views different hoga to aap differently sochte hoge ye sirf ek light hearted video tha jo hum aur main aur dimple karna chahte the to hopefully aap guys ko ye acha laga aur aap और ज्यादा कोलैब्स अगर देखना चाहते हैं मेरी और डिंपल के साथ तो आप जरूर कमेंट डाउन बिलो कीजिए और हमें बताइए कि आप कौन से वीडियोस देखना चाहते हैं आई होप यू गाइस एंजॉय दिस वीडियो आई विल सी यू लेटर आई विल सी यू लेटर